Okay, welcome back. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is um, kind of uh, a little bit strange here, but we need some servos so that we can test our our uh, transmitter settings. Basically, you want to go into the swash mix of your uh, you want to go into the swash mix for your radio, and you can set up the pitch make sure that the pitch side is set to a hundred percent plus or minus a hundred percent and then uh, you can leave the uh, aileron and elevator settings alone all right <clears throat> the next thing to do is to use some kind of uh, servo tester use some kind of servo tester so you can figure out where the um, <clears throat> where the servos would, would be if they're at zero and where they would be if they were at 100%. And then you want to mount some arms on there and then you want to put some kind of some kind of way on there to signify that uh, the arms where where they would be. So now you want to go to low throttle and you'll, you'll be able to see this a little bit better as I, as I go through the throttle. All right, this is it. This is at 0% output on the pitch. And you can see that all three of the balls have gone down. And that's at 100% pitch. And all three balls went up. So basically you need some way to figure out if all these servos are moving in the correct direction. Because this, the output that's being sent to these servos right now is the output that's going to be sent to the ESCs. So you can think of this as, this is 0% pitch, so this is 0 RPMs on the motor. And this is 100% pitch, so this is maximum RPMs on the rotor, or on the motors. So now, we want to test the elevator. And basically, when you pull back on the stick, you want the, you want the two front servos to go up and you want the back servo to move down. So basically you're going to be reducing the speed on the back motor and increasing the speed on the two front motors. And that's going to be that's going to be uh, up elevator. So pull back on the stick and you can see that the throttle does increase on the two front and the throttle does decrease on the back. And let's go in the other direction. This is forward stick so this is going to reduce the RPMs on the front motors and increase the RPMs on the back motor. All right, next thing to do is to test the aileron. When you push right aileron, you want the right motor to decrease and the left motor to increase. So we're going to push aileron and we can see that it's it's backwards. As I'm pushing right aileron, the right motor is increasing in RPM and the left motor is decreasing in RPM which means that if you push right on the stick the uh, the tricopter would move left so the way to fix that is go into go into your transmitter to here for the aileron the aileron setting and if it's set to plus 60 percent you just want to switch it to minus 60 percent all right now let's test it again. If I push right aileron, you can see the right motor is going to decrease in RPM and the left motor is going to increase in RPM. And this is left aileron and right aileron. This is, this is up elevator and this is down elevator. You want to make sure that those are moving in the proper direction. If, if any of those are not moving in the, in the proper direction, you need to go into the uh, aileron, elevator, or pitch setups for your swash mix and reverse those so that they're all moving in the correct direction. Um, I hope I didn't leave anything out. I know this isn't a complete description of what a swash mix does, but hopefully by having the servos down here you can kind of see that, uh, that things are moving the way they're supposed to move. The, the advantage to using the servos here is that you can visually see what's going to happen when you provide certain inputs without having to have you know the motors spinning so you can have complete confidence when you put this setup into your tricopter and you push the stick right the right motor will decrease in rpms and the left motor will increase in rpms 
and uh, you know you just want to make sure that everything's moving properly. Um, go through it and take a look at it. If you're if you're a little bit confused about swash setups, I'd highly recommend you go over to Heli Freak and check out some of Finless Bob video uh, Finless Bob's videos. Um, he's got a couple of really good videos where he explains uh, swash mix in more detail. And that's it for now. The next step is going to be to put the gyros into my little uh, into my little rig, and then play around with the gyros to make sure that that uh, that they're going to be working properly.